Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Coding Dojo is a programming school that turns beginners into developers in only 14 weeks. If you're serious about landing a career in tech, but lack the formal education or background, Coding Dojo will get you there in no time. With over 3,000 graduates to date, over 90% of their grads land jobs within three months of graduating, often making over 70K per year at tech firms of all sizes, from companies like Google to local startups. To learn more, visit CodingDojo.com or click the link in the description below. I'm going to do a programming related video today. I promised my company, my fellow simple programmers, that I would make a video on YouTube about programming and not just about being a bulldog. Even though I love making videos about being a bulldog. <laughs> Check out the video here. All right, so today I want to talk to you. I want to answer the question of what programming language should I learn first? I've gotten this question a lot of times. What programming should I, language should I learn first? Which programming language is the best? Which programming language should a beginner start with? If I'm a new programmer, what language should I learn? What programming language is best? <laughs> Which programming language should I learn first? Have I said enough times? Is it, am I saying this just for SEO purposes? You'll never know. Am I making this whole video just for SEO purposes? Now, there's, there's some validity to this as well, but you know, I got to have a video about this because this is an important topic. So I'm going to answer the question for you. What programming language should I learn first? Now, I have an opinion on this that has changed over time. Even though I'm a C Sharp fanboy and you've seen me talk about C Sharp all the time, I actually have, and, and I'll tell you this again, before I give you my actual answer, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm being clear here that I, I have to be honest, right? With, which my honest side of myself <laughs> has to tell you, okay? And hopefully there's a large part of my honest side of myself. If you watch this channel, if you, if you have, if you subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button. You'll see, I'm, I just, I'm totally transparent. I talk, I say too much stuff. I'm too honest on this damn channel, okay? So if you want an honest opinion of, of shit that people won't give you an honest opinion on, that's why you need to click subscribe. All right, so anyway, the, what, what I have to tell you, first of all, is that what programming language you choose doesn't actually matter all that much. I know that's going to make some people have to take some deep breaths and get all upset about this. It's okay. It's cool. But it's really true. It's really true that it doesn't matter so much. It's that like most programming languages today can handle just about any task. And it doesn't mean there's not some programming languages that are better for a certain task. There, of course, are. But like programming languages have come a long way. Right? And a lot of the features have cross-pollinated between languages. And so honestly, there's a lot of good choices. And what's important is that you just choose one. And I'll, I'm going to plug my book here. I mean, I dare to say that I plug something on my YouTube channel. But the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, I have a chapter specifically in here on and the whole section on how to get started as a programmer. And there's a, there's a chapter on, let's see, what is it called? It's chapter five, what programming language? Should I learn? You could say what programming language should I learn first? And then there's a chapter on how to learn your first programming language, okay? And I'll, I'll spare you some of the you know, some of it, but you should definitely get the book if you haven't already. It's like 800 pages. But essentially, it doesn't really matter which programming language you learn first, okay? What matters is that you pick one and that you don't scatter shot this all over the place and learn multiple at the same time, especially if you're a beginner and that you become really good at one, that you go in depth and learn it the right way. Again, I tell you about that in the book. I will do, you can probably find it on this channel too. Like I'm not trying to like say, you gotta buy the book, otherwise I'm not gonna give you knowledge. There's no secrets. I'll tell you everything you want to know on this channel, but there's like 2000 videos. So the book is more condensed, like focused things. And all my courses are like that, by the way. So I'm not gonna plug those right now, but just to let you know, why would I, give away information and then, you know, have secret. I don't have secret information. I have organized information. Organized information is really fucking valuable. I'll pay a lot of money for someone to organize information for me. So I don't have to drink from the fire hose. With that said though, like I said, it's not so important which programming language you learn first. It's it, what, and there's some factors. I mean, obviously like an, you should pick an easy language to learn so you don't get discouraged, right? You should pick something that's popular, that's going to be marketable if you're trying to get a job as a software developer, right? Those things, those factors, definitely I would take into consideration, okay? But again, 
don't hinge so much on this stupid choice. Like a lot of times, and the reason why I'm gonna emphasize this before I give you an actual recommendation, which I will give you one, okay? But the reason why I'm going to say this so much before I do that is because I really want you to understand that so many people in life, especially new programmers, people starting out in any kind of endeavor, they spend so much time in the analysis phase, trying to make sure that they're making the right decisions, trying to prevent themselves from making the wrong decisions, that they never actually take real action, they get discouraged, they never go anywhere, and they waste their time. And so one of the best ways to actually like figure out what is right is to figure out what's wrong. So make wrong decisions. Don't be afraid. I mean, don't be stupid and don't be rash. Like analyze things. But once you got enough information, like you just gotta make a decision, you gotta go with it, and you gotta realize that you're never gonna know if something is 100% right. Like you're never gonna know before you make a decision. Like good leaders, good entrepreneurs, good programmers, good decision makers in general are able to make decisions with not enough information and are willing to fail and be wrong and then correct, course correct, you know, change change the the till. <laughs> I was going to do steering wheel, but I decided to go with the boat thing. But, you know, cha change the, the tiller. Is it tiller? I don't know. See, I should have went with the steering wheel. But, you know, see, look, bad choice, wrong choice. I, I made a wrong choice. Big fucking deal. So, <laughs> so, okay, are we good? We're clear on that? All right, now I'll give you what I would say and we'll start a whole religious war here in the comment section. But I would say Python today. Honestly, this is what, it's like, it's almost 2018. It's like 2017, end of 2017 here. And today, if I were starting out, and this has changed over time, my opinion has changed on this, I'm gonna pick Python for beginner, for, for starting out. Even though I'm not really good at Python, I only have a cursory knowledge of Python. I've only programmed in Python a very small amount. C Sharp is my strongest language. If, if I have a strong one now, it's been some time since I was a programmer and not a self-development guru or whatever it is not that i'm a guru but you know like this guy that teaches you how to become a bulldog and like achieve all your fucking dreams in life and and get chicks and get laid and all that kind of stuff like it was, it's been a while since you know since i left that that other life behind but my my point is this is that like python is is a really good beginner language it's really easy to learn there's so many resources and one of the reasons that's one of the things that's influenced my opinion on this is that i see so many good books on amazon about python and how to get started like a lot of the beginner programming books are about python so i know you're going to find a lot of good resources i also happen to have some friends that are very involved in computer vision and ai and sort of we're, we're really kind of the future of of the scientific aspect of programming, computer science is going, where there's gonna be some big bucks in the future here in these areas. And these guys are all Python guys, right? They're you're using Python in that, that realm. And, and that's a highly very uh, highly valuable realm, right? Self like drive automation, you know, self-driving car, cars, robotics, computer vision, even neural networks and some of that. A lot of that is is in the Python realm. So so to me, right, okay, so, you know, to give you a logical analysis here, plenty of jobs already, really easy to learn, it's a, it's a good language, it's a powerful language, a lot of people are using it, there's a lot of resources out there that may, I may be duplicating one here, but, but and, and there's a high lucrative opportunities, there's like a very high up upper end for, you know, really advanced type of stuff that you can do that's cutting edge in that technology. So, so for me, that like checks all the, all the dots, you check the dots, you check, that checks all the boxes, it dots all the eyes that I would want as a beginning programmer trying to learn a programming language. Again though, I have to emphasize that if you choose something else, it's fine, it's totally cool. It, it's, it's not a big problem, but you do want to take into consideration, you know, where you are geographically, what kind of jobs are available if you're trying to get a job, what you like, right? And, and, and kind of what you're trying to do, right? I mean, if you're trying to build iOS apps, uh, no, no, Python, no. Let's not, I mean, maybe you can. I'm sure there's some way to build iOS apps with Python. I'm sure there's gonna be people that are gonna comment and tell me that there is. I'm sure there is, okay? If there's not, there should be, but Swift, Swift. If you're trying to build iOS apps, Swift. You see what I'm saying? So you, you gotta think about that kind of thing. But in general, if you just wanna become a programmer, and you're trying to pick, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, which language should I learn? Eh, Python's probably a good one, okay? You can do all kinds of stuff with, with Python. And yeah, so there you go. That's my opinion on that. So feel free to get all crazy in the comments section. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, you know, obviously this video is somewhat SEO. Like I'm being honest with you, like some people are gonna get pissed off, but it's like, did you suspect that this was kind of SEO, kind of a clickbaity video? 
All right, so now I'm confirming it by telling you honestly. So now you're more upset or you're less upset, right? I would hope you'd be less upset. So with that said, uh, you know, and, and I'll tell you something. I'll just let's let's get full disclosure here. Let's 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 bare our hearts. Let's take off our no. Let's not take off our shirt. But okay, here's the thing. My channel, okay, Simple Programmer, is all about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about self development and personal development. It may actually even bounce out of the programming realm at some point and just become a general purpose. But I give you real fucking truths here to improve your life, right? To make, become the best version of yourself, especially it's geared towards a lot of software developers, right? If you're a software developer or a programmer and the struggles that you face, right? I used to be shy. I used to have social anxiety, be afraid to talk to girls, had laziness problems, big laziness problems, had procrastinated, didn't know how to be productive, didn't know how to invest in and make money and to become an entrepreneur. I figured a lot of that stuff out. Okay, and I share that with you. I share you how, how, to, how to become what you wanna become in life. I was, un, I was not fit. I was a fat fucker, okay, at one point in my life, all right? You know, and, and so, Anyway, the purpose of this channel is, is all of that stuff, but here's the thing, right? And this is why I make some of these videos like this, even though I think that it's valuable advice as well, is that people don't search on YouTube. Like you got, if you found my video, you're not looking for like how to be fit as a programmer, or personal development for, for programmers. People just generally aren't searching for that because they don't realize how valuable that is. But what people are searching for is things like what programming language should I learn first? And this. This is also an explanation to my existing audience that wonders, why does John make some of these random videos sometimes? It's, it's because people are searching for that. So I have to make a certain number of videos, okay, for this business model to work, for actually to get people to actually find me that are good SEO ones that are people out, are actually searching for. And so it's kind of the strategy of, I give you what you want, and then I give you what you need. Right, so you come looking for one thing, and then you know, hopefully, if you're new to this channel, if you're just seeing this video, you're like, oh man, this is kind of kind of cool. Like, and some some of you're gonna be like, this John, like you're not even watching at this point, but you're like, this John guy, he seems like a self-conceited kind of arrogant asshole dick. I would never want to be like him. I doubt he can even code. This guy, I mean, did he just say fuck? Like, oh, I'm I'm unsubscribing. I'm done. Like, I don't even want to watch his videos anymore. Block, block, block. Cool, that's fine. But some of you're gonna be like. This is cool. This is cool shit. I didn't realize, like, you, you're gonna help me get chicks? Like, you know what I mean? Whatever. You, you're gonna help me get in shape? Like, you're gonna help me develop the mindset to be a fucking bulldog and succeed in life? This is awesome. I love this. And I'm a programmer and you were a programmer. So th that's, that's what this is in intended to do is I have to do that in order to find my peoples. You see what I'm saying? And because it's, it's a wide net out there and people aren't searching for what I'm providing, but when they see it and the right person sees it, they're the person who's already clicked subscribe. So if that matches up with you, if you're that kind of person, again, you came on this video from a search, it's cool. So click the subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss any videos, and that's all I got for you. All right, talk to you next time, take care.